Hello and welcome back to Math and Tea, the show where we talk math and mm. oh, yeah. and drink tea. Today is a book review twofer with John Allen Paulus's Enumeracy and A Mathematician Reads the Newspaper. Both of these books fall into the category of common mistakes people make with math. Enumeracy takes a very from the basics approach. Most of the first chapter is devoted to problems we have truly comprehending large numbers a million, a billion, a trillion, a quadrillion, after a while they just all feel kind of big other than just being truly different numbers. On the other hand, a mathematician reads the newspaper takes a much more rapid-fire approach. It really does feel like skimming through a newspaper. Here's a topic, here's an issue with it, here's a topic, here's an issue with it, and so on and so forth. Enumeracy is largely considered to be a classic, and I kind of have to agree with that one. It's not a particularly original concept, but it's done so very well. It's a book that talks not only to a non-mathematical popular audience, but also to a mathematical audience. Enumeracy, as its title suggests, is the mathematical equivalent of illiteracy. It's a misunderstanding or lack of knowledge of the basic concepts of mathematics. We're not talking about not having taken a calculus or differential equations course. We're talking about problems with addition and basic probability. In the introduction, John Allen Paulus relates a tale of someone who saw a 50% chance of rain on Saturday and a 50% chance of rain on Sunday and concluded there was a 100% chance of rain for the weekend. That's enumeracy. Enumeracy style is very much explain a situation, point out the problem, correct the problem. And it's very accessible because a lot of these situations he's talking about are ones that are commonplace. They're things we see all the time. That's why this is such a good book for non-mathematicians. For mathematicians, it's great for another reason. It helps us see where non-mathematicians are coming from. Let's be honest, people like me don't necessarily have a lot of formal training in education. Most of what we know we either picked up by osmosis from our own teachers, or we worked through by trial and error. As such, a book like this is really helpful because it gets us out of the mindset of how we do mathematics and into the mindset of how other people see and learn mathematics. This book really helped me as a teacher. So to sum up, this is a quick read on simple topics expounded on a way that not only makes them accessible, but also still really informative. That's kind of impressive to get all in just one book, and from that I can really see why this was such a popular book when it first came out. No thought needed on this one, it gets a thumbs up from me. And as to A Mathematician Reads a Newspaper, this one doesn't require any thought either. This one gets a thumbs down. On a surface level, both of these books are essentially doing the same thing. Explain a situation, point out the error, correct the error. But on a macro level, they go about it in very different ways. In enumeracy, remember, that whole first chapter was really just devoted to one topic, slowly expounding on it throughout the entire chapter. Here, it's much more scattershot. Here, a given concept might only appear in one or two pages and then vanish throughout the rest of the book. The whole book just feels rushed, really, really rushed. On more than one occasion as I was reading this, I'd get to the end of a section and I'd go, what was the point of that again? Because Paulus had only talked about why it was a significant thing in maybe one or two lines. Really easy to miss. I feel like this could have been a really awesome book if it were about twice as long as it currently is. As it was, I kept getting little glimmers, little flashes of something really awesome, and then just getting so frustrated that they disappeared just as fast. So, as far as reviews go, Enumeracy. Good. Go get it. What are you waiting for? A mathematician reads a newspaper? Well, not unless you're really looking for something in the area. Anyway, I'm almost done with my summer book reviews, but I'm saving the best one for last. That's all for now, because I'm out of...